Welcome back to Functional Analysis. And as always, many, many thanks to all the nice people that support this channel on Steady or PayPal. This is part 24 in the course, and today we will finally talk about a famous theorem in functional analysis. It's the uniform boundedness principle, also known as the Banach Steinhaus theorem. So let's immediately start with the formulation. What we need are two normed spaces. However, an important ingredient is that at least x is also complete, so a Banach space. Now you know we can always look at a set of all bounded linear operators from x to y. Now at this point in the course we already know this set is again a well-defined f-vector space together with a norm, given by the operator norm. Therefore this space needs a good name and I want to use bxy. Obviously the b stands for bounded linear operators. However, a lot of people use L, which stands for linear operators, but they also mean bounded linear operators. For this reason, it can be a little bit confusing, therefore I just use B, and I think that makes it clear. Now, with the definitions out of the way, we are able to state the theorem. We can look at an arbitrary subset in the bounded operators. I call the set M, and of course, it's just a collection of operators from X to Y. Now for m, we have the equivalence that it is bounded pointwise on x if and only if m is uniformly bounded. If this does not make any sense to you, that's totally fine, because we first have to explain all the words here. Maybe the word uniformly bounded is easier to understand, because it's just the normal definition of boundedness just in a normed space bxy together with the operator norm. Therefore, I can write that down as there exists a constant c greater or equal than zero, such that for all operators t in M, the operator norm of t is less or equal than c. Now, going to the other notion, bounded pointwise on x means something different, because here we don't look at the operator norm. However, we look at the norm of the images, which means we have the norm in y and put in here an arbitrary x. Of course, this looks similar, but beware, you can choose the c here depending on x. Exactly this makes this bounded property pointwise, because you first choose the x and then the constant. Hence, we need the quantifier for all x in x here in front. So please recall, this quantifier here on the right hand side is hidden in the operator norm. So it's after choosing the constant c. Now, the banach steinhaus theorem tells us that both notions are actually the same as long as we have a Banner space on the left hand side. Of course, this nice theorem can be used in applications. For example, it's used in Fourier analysis and maybe I'll show you this example in a later video. Also, I will show you the proof in another video because here I want to do a straightforward application we can use in functional analysis. Of course, the proposition needs the same assumptions as before and we also use the same notation for the bounded operators. Now what happens when we take a whole sequence tn from the bounded operators when we also know that the limit tnx exists for all x in x? The answer is we can define a limit operator which is again linear and bounded. This result is quite nice because we start with a continuous function, look at the pointwise limit and know that the limit function is again a continuous function. In general, and you learned this in analysis, this would be wrong, but it is true when we have the linear operators defined on a Banner space. Okay, let's write it down. t defined as the pointwise limit, so a map from x to y, with tx as the limit t and x. Then the result is t is also a linear and bounded operator. Of course, linear is not so surprising, but bounded is, because it means continuous. Okay, then let's write down the proof, which is very simple, because we can use Banach-Steinhaus. As I already told you, boundedness is the interesting part, and indeed the only thing we really need to prove. The map T is well defined by this definition, and it is also linear, because we know how to deal with limits. Now, in order to apply Banach-Steinhaus, we need a set M, which is all the operators t and together. And by assumption, m is what we call bounded pointwise on x. 
Of course, the existence of this limit implies that the limit of the norm also exists. And this is just a convergence sequence in R, where we know it can't be unbounded, which means we always find such a constant Cx. Hence, we are allowed to use Banach-Steinhaus, which means we find such a constant C on the right hand side. So we have the constant C such that the operator norm of Tn is bounded by C for all n. Now let's do the last step, calculating the operator norm of T. By definition, this is just a supremum where we put in x with norm 1. Okay, here we can simply use the definition of Tx, which is the limit Tnx. The norm is a continuous map, so we can pull out the limit. At this point, we can use that the operator norm is bounded by C, so we know this whole norm is also bounded by C. X has norm 1, so we don't need that, and we also don't need the limit here. And there we have our result. The operator norm of T, we don't know what the exact value is, but we know it's less or equal than C. Hence, the operator T is bounded. So you see, this is a nice result. When you know that the pointwise limit exists, you can define a new bounded operator. However, please keep in mind, this only holds if the domain, the left hand side, is complete. Okay, I think that's good enough for today. Let's continue with the uniform boundedness principle in the next video. So I really hope I see you there. Bye.